What's going on guys? So we are seven and a half weeks out until the Richmond Marathon. It's taking place on November 13th. So times are ticking, days are running out. And I want to break down in this video exactly what my plan is heading into the Richmond Marathon. I'm super new to running, but I finally sat down and tried to create a solid structure program. I want to break down exactly what that looks like. So if you're a beginner as well, or you're training for a marathon soon, and you don't have a coach, you can look at what I'm doing and well, we'll find out whether it works well or not. But I did write it out and load it into the Coros app. I got a brand new Coros watch, which I'll review in the future and explain why I switched from Apple Watch to Coros. But the point of this video is looking at that program. So let's jump into the app and look at it from week to week. So if we're looking at the first week, it starts today, which is September 27th on a Monday. I'm doing four miles easy and I'll take care of this right now so I don't get super repetitive every monday and friday is going to be four miles at an easy pace the reason for that is monday and friday i train legs and so one my legs are already going to be fatigued but the biggest thing is too with already weight training in the morning i don't want to risk injury trying to do some crazy long or super hard workouts so those are always going to be easy run days is those mondays and fridays four miles easy pace easy heart rate so that's what I'm doing today and every Monday and Friday, like I mentioned. And then another pattern you'll notice that kind of flows on from week to week, so I won't cover it over and over, but it's that Tuesdays and Saturdays tend to be like a moderate length run. Thursdays are always my long run because that's the day I don't do weight training. Every other day I have some kind of upper body or lower body workout. And then Wednesdays are the main speed focus workout. And I'm gonna mix that up. I'm gonna vary that from interval to tempo to progression run. No matter what I'm doing, I'm just focused on improving pace speed. I'm getting that heart rate up and training for speed improvement. So that's the general theme moving forward. And so this video doesn't take super long and it doesn't get super boring. I'll kind of break down the differences in the plan overall. So if you look at that first week, it's four miles Monday, six miles Tuesday. Wednesday, I'm gonna do a double. So I'll do four miles in the morning. That'll be kind of mixed in some speed workouts. So it might be a mile easy, two mile hard, mile easy. And then later that evening, I'll do three miles easy. 16 miles on Thursday is my long run. Again, an easy four miles Friday. Saturday and Sunday, we get six miles and four miles at an easy or moderate type pace. Now moving forward week to week, there's a lot of similarities like I mentioned, but there are some subtle differences. So basically every other week, I'm extending that long run. So this week it's 16 miles, two weeks from now it's 18 miles, two weeks from there it's 22 miles. So if we compare week one to week three, it is almost identical. The only major difference is that long run is an 18 mile long run. So I'm just slowly inching my way up and then those in between weeks where I don't have a longer long run, I am adding mileage on to those moderate days. So if you look at week two or week four, for example, that Tuesday run goes up to eight miles rather than six. And then the Saturday run as well moves up on the 23rd, moves up to eight miles as well. So slowly just working up that mileage. If you look at the weekly mileage, week one, 47, week two, 48, week three, 49, slowly getting up to there. Now the big weeks are week four and week five. I'm working into the 50 miles per week range, which I've never touched before. So you can see I'm slowly stacking up that mileage and the idea is to build up that aerobic base, that aerobic foundation, so that when I am running a full 26.2 in a row, my legs, my mind, my body is ready and prepared to withstand all that mileage all at once. So you'll notice my hardest week is week five, where I run four miles Monday, six Tuesday, seven Wednesday, so that same general theme. I get to a 22 mile long run on Thursday, again, four mile easy Friday, four miles on Saturday, because I'm hopefully trying to use both Friday and Saturday to recover a little bit from those 22 miles. I imagine I'll be very sore, especially in my hamstrings and my calves, things like that. And then Sunday to kind of make up for a little bit of volume and just get that mileage up, I'm actually gonna do a two a day, two easy three mile runs, again, AM, PM runs, to just add in and round out that week. And then week six and then week seven is gonna be kind of like a tapering period. So working down that mileage a little bit, still instilling a little bit of confidence within myself. So I do have a half marathon run about a week and a half before the marathon. 
and then the rest of that is a lot of like three or four mile maybe one six mile runs at an easy pace again just to keep the legs moving keep my confidence high but also allow myself and my body to fully recover heading into that one long effort on that specific Saturday for the race so Hopefully that wasn't too boring. I didn't want to go into every little detail and a lot of it, like I said, from week to week is very similar, but I did want to show, at least for me, what it looks like, how I'm slowly increasing the mileage because I have had people ask me questions. How do I go from running 22 miles a week to running 30? And it is as simple as smaller increments. Running every day helps. And I personally feel like running every day keeps me recovering a little bit better, keeps my joints warm, and doesn't allow my body to get cold or stiff, but other people might need a day or two, so that's when you have to start implementing doubles or longer runs and figure that out. But for me, running every day helps. Throwing in doubles like I do on Wednesdays, and that one Sunday on, I believe, week five, throwing in doubles can definitely help, especially if you have the time, or if you were just a pure runner and you're not lifting as well, you can definitely do an AM and PM run, fit it around your work schedule, whatever you got going on. But that is the plan. So we do have two weeks that touch into that 50 mile range and then we taper down to crush this marathon so that's the plan that's the program it's nothing too specific but I did want to show you guys I'm having some structure I'm getting better all right I'm trying to trying to have a plan and stick to it so we'll see how it goes and I'll definitely learn from it as it's going on and if I do have any changes as the weeks progress I'll definitely keep you guys updated but that's it for the program now let's go run. All right, so we're about to get a six mile run done. Yesterday's run went really well. And like I said, I'll show you guys in a second, but I really like how you can program in your runs onto the watch. So you can really do two things. One, well, three. You can do like any open run, open trail run, swim, do whatever. I obviously just focus on runs, but you can also do a training day. So you can basically build a workout in the app and then send it to your watch and you can include the warm up the workout itself, intervals, time, you can select whether you're focused on pace or heart rate and it'll keep you in that range and beep and remind you if you go too high, too low, whatever you're doing. And even program a, and a cool down or you can set in the cool down open which just allows you to go as long as you want. So really cool feature. I'll probably definitely use that in the future even after I get off this program. But the feature I'm really liking leading into the marathon is how I can build out a full training plan. So it's basically those training workouts I just spoke about, but you can build it and program it on every day so that, you know, when it's Tuesday, you just go on your watch, select that day. So today would be the 28th, I believe. Yes, <laughs> the 28th, and then look at, okay, what am I supposed to do today? And it has it in there. Even though I already know what I'm supposed to do, it's a nice reminder and a good way to just kind of check off a box. So that's what we're gonna do today. We got six miles, easy-ish pace, nothing too crazy. So knocking that out and uh, I'll show you guys real quick before I get started on the run what everything looks like on the watch. So I realize this is going to be kind of hard to show just because the watch is reflection but I'm going to show you as best I can. So I got my watch right here. I'm going to select that little dial and get to the main menu. Once I click that dial I get to a bunch of options for the workout. I'm going to scroll down to training plan and then I select that. And as you can see it gives you like a whole month of training days and then once you select one it shows you the workout for the day which as you can see is six miles anywhere from a nine minute to 10 20 pace so relatively easy and then once I select that it gets the workout ready to go so let's knock it out so so far I'm really enjoying the new watch I will say it's a lot all at once and what I mean is so many options so much data so much to look at so much you can do as far as running programming and just analytics that I'm like overwhelmed a little bit but overall I feel like it's a good overwhelmed like it'll just give me a lot more creativity I think it'll force me to learn and adapt my training to a smarter approach it'll also help to set those parameters whether it be pace or heart rate and have my watch remind me hey you're going too fast or hey let's pick up the pace so that'll certainly be a helpful feature like it just did it now it says I'm going too fast so time to slow it down a little bit
side note that I really like about the watch is once you're 0.03 close to being done with your run, it starts to beep and slowly beep every few seconds until you finish the run. So I really like it because it reminds me to just run through the mileage and don't keep checking my watch looking to see when I'm done. It'll stop when I reach the mileage number. So that's really nice. But we just finished up six miles, went really well, felt pretty good. And we'll go over all the data once I get back to my phone. All right, so six miles at a 935 per mile pace. So not too bad, no PR but no slack in either. Pretty decent pace, especially with some decent elevation, 240 feet. My running power average was, I'm just kidding guys, I don't, I don't keep up with cadence, running power, any of that. But again, there's a ton of data in there, so I'll have to learn what I feel like using, what I should be checking, what I should be using, but that'll come with time. But anyway, good start to this week, good start to the official, kind of official start to the program in a way. If you guys have any thoughts on the program, I'm all ears, like I said. You know what I what I programmed may not be the smartest thing to do. A little bit may vary and be good for me because of my weight training. But I'm all ears to any other ideas. So you can comment below what you think or what I should try, what I should implement, what you're doing, whatever. I'd love to hear it. So like the video, subscribe for more content. Hoping to keep up the two videos a week, especially leading into the marathon and even after. So if you guys have any requests, anything you'd like to see, diet wise, training wise, let me know, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.